I'm going to talk about pulling the slack out. In the deadlift, it's very important to pull the slack out of the bar before you initiate the deadlift. Main reasons why is one, we want to anchor the hips and spine into position before we initiate the pull. Two, what this does is this gradually allows us to load the body in a very consistent and precise manner. And three, this allows you to feel the balance over the midfoot and make sure that the body's in the correct position and the body is loaded properly before we execute the lift. Two, pull the slack out. Step up to the bar. To properly pull the slack out, you actually hear a click. Okay, once you hear that click, then the slack is out, okay? The next way to pull the slack out is to actually just get the bar to bend before we lift it, okay? So in some cases, you're not gonna hear a click, but you could feel the weight of the bar bend, okay? And the third way to pull the slack out is to slowly and gradually lift the weight off the ground, kinda squeeze the weight off the floor, or peel the weight off the floor. Once it breaks contact with the ground, after you slowly lift it off the floor, then you want to accelerate. Okay, and that's gonna look something like this. Slow off the ground, and then go fast, okay? Aside from remembering the specific cues, okay, pull the weight slowly off the floor, hear the bar click, feel the bend in the bar, feel heavy in your hands, feel heavy in your feet, there's also a couple ways to practice pulling the slack out. The first way is actually just doing an isometric hold at the bottom without lifting the weights off the ground. Set in position, pull the slack out, and you want to take about 90% of the weight out of the bar, okay? And just practice how that feels. We can do isometric holds for about 10 seconds or 5 seconds or just kind of in between your warm-up sets to get a feel for what that is. The next one is actually just a pause deadlift off the floor as close to the ground as possible. So you want to imagine that you have a piece of paper and you're trying to slide it between the plate and the floor and you want it so that piece of paper is going to have a slight drag, okay? So keep the plates as close to the ground as you can and pause it and then continue your deadlift. And the last way to practice the pull the slack out is actually taking the plates and putting them on the end of the bar, okay? So you wanna take a clip, put it on the end of the bar, okay? You wanna clip it, make sure you have enough room Put the plate on the end, grab another clip, put it right on the end, and that way we're going to place the weight further on the end of the bar. And this works much better too if you have a deadlift bar, so you can actually feel the bend in the bar. Okay. Now what this is going to do is going to place the load on the very edge of the bar, and this is going to allow the bar to bend a lot more before the weight comes off the ground. And you'll set up just like your regular deadlift, pull the slack out, feel the bar bend, stand up. And that's how and why you should pull the slack out of the bar.